Take you Richard. Take I take you Christmas tree. Okay. Take me to the beach. Say that. Oh, hi, Rocket and Richard. Take him day and then take you to the beach. Hi and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Today we're taking you to Delray Beach, Florida. If you're just joining us on Aiken Adventures, we are taking you to see all the best things that there are to do all around Florida. If you like that kind of material, then you're gonna wanna like, subscribe, and comment below. Our first stop today is the at the Wakata Hatchie Wetlands Reserve, and uh, it's ranked number one on TripAdvisor, so we're gonna go and check it out. The Wakata Hatchie Wetlands was constructed on 50 acres of land to recycle reclaimed water. Uh, highly treated water is filtered into these wetlands and then purified for the environment. The wetlands features a three quarter mile boardwalk. Hello, Hi. Hi. Oh, <laughs> 178 species of birds call the wetlands home, along with a number of alligators, turtles, and various other kinds of animals. If you love bird watching, this is definitely the place to come because they're easily located. They are everywhere. What's really nice about the boardwalk is that it forms a loop all the way around. So you don't have to worry about wandering and getting lost. You can find your way right back to the beginning. Uh, that's important to me because I have had some experiences with going to lots of different wetlands where there are boardwalks that lead to basically nowhere. You have to find your way back through a maze. And the next stop on our adventure is the Murakami Japanese Museum and Gardens. Our first stop was to the theater and we watched some trailers for some Japanese movies. Didn't fully understand what was going on there. But then they told us about the Murakami Garden and Museum. All right, now we're on our way out to the gardens to explore. The Murakami Gardens were established in 1977 and named after George Murakami, who donated his farmlands to Palm Beach County. There are six gardens making up Murakami Gardens, and each of them reflect some aspect of the history and culture of Japan. The gardens include a Shindin garden, beginning with an arched bridgeway over a koi pond. This garden includes some meandering paths on beautifully landscaped islands connected by different kinds of bridges. Next, we wander into the Paradise Garden. These gardens were typically designed for long, casual strolls, and as with the previous gardens, the landscaping wasn't typically trimmed into any particular shape, but were allowed to grow freely.
along these long winding pathways, you can capture some peaceful views of the still waters from various vantage points. Next there are a couple of rock gardens, an early rock garden and a late rock garden. Next, the flat garden combines the idea and concept of the rock garden with plant material. From there we climb the hill to the modern romantic garden. This garden would reflect open trade to the Western world from Japan and the adoption of many Western concepts such as open lawns and fountains. And finally, our tour of the gardens is complete with the bonsai exhibition. After the gardens, it's time to take a look inside the Murakami Museum. And there are more than 7,000 artifacts that call the Murakami Museum home. And don't forget to stop by the museum store, where you can pick up your very own kimono. Okay, what did you think? This was the most beautiful, relaxed place I think I've been in a really long time. It had such relaxing vibes and all the trees and the water. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Was it relaxing with Vivian? Uh, it was okay. <laughs> I'm sure it'd be more relaxing without, but it was a lot of fun with her, that's for sure. All right, the next stop on our list is that we're gonna go get some lunch. You ready to eat? The most important part of all of our adventures. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a place that's the number one cheap eats place on TripAdvisor. So we're gonna go head over that way. Today we're having lunch at the Ocean One Bar and Grill. The Ocean One Bar and Grill is located at the Delray Marketplace. It looks like they have a really decent location here. Uh, it's listed as one of the top cheap eats places in Del Rey, but it looks pretty expensive from the outside, so we're pretty interested to find out. You guys, it's super crowded here, but the sign says that it's only $5 for every lunch item, so that's pretty exciting. I think we're gonna get the spinach and artichoke dip, but you can get for your starters uh, mussels, uh, crispy calamari, uh, ocean one wings, or a quesadilla, and all of them, $4.99. Not bad. Take a bite. Oh, okay. This one? Not too bad. It's pretty good. Spicy chicken wrap. And uh, and I asked for provolone cheese. It was a little bit extra to get provolone, but I'm pretty excited about it anyway. Alright, next up on our agenda, we're gonna check out the beach. Because what is a trip to Delray Beach, Florida, without going to Delray Beach? Now, pro tip, when you come to Delray Beach, Florida, most of the beachside parking is parallel on the street. So you're going to want to do some research about the best places that are available for parking. Otherwise, you're likely to have some issues finding available parking. 
since it is street side, it's pretty limited. Um, and then also there are some pay meters, so you wanna stop by and make sure that you um, pay for your parking. We looked out a little bit, cause today it's pretty empty. There are a lot of spots available, but I've been down here when it's super busy. Somebody gave up on walking in the sand. Do you want to walk in the sand? No. Nope. <laughs> so this is like the perfect beach day because it's not hot, the wind's not blowing, and it's also not cold. It's the perfect temperature. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting it was going to be really cold today. And also I was a little afraid it was going to rain because it's so overcast. Oh, but it's perfect. It's really a nice day. I wish we had packed different clothes and really enjoy now it. Now we know. So we just finished up over at the beach and we're gonna head our way over to Atlantic Avenue, which is our next thing on the list to do in Delray, Florida. Atlantic Avenue is considered to be the main street of Delray, Florida, and is the heart of Delray, Florida's downtown area. Of course, as with any downtown area, you have shops and stores, you have art galleries, all the different things that you can imagine with a very specific Delray style. The downtown area is divided by certain districts and each district is defined by its own particular vibe. There is, for example, the Pineapple Arts District with a very artsy vibe. Across Atlantic Avenue from the Pineapple Arts District is the Sofa District with a really up and coming vibe, they say. On the west end of Atlantic Avenue is what they call the set and it is the cultural vibe. In the central part of Atlantic Avenue is what they call the Avenue and it has a very, what they're calling an electric vibe. And finally, to the far east end of the downtown district is the beach side district. And of course it has a relaxed beach side vibe. And you can literally feel the difference in each of the districts as you pass from one to another. It is much calmer as you get closer to the beach side area and leave the avenue section. Our final place that we're visiting in Delray Beach, Florida today is called the Girls Strawberry You Pick, something like we're that. We're excited about it, whatever it is. But the sign outside says it's the Girls Ice Cream Parlor. And uh, ordinarily, I think they have a strawberry patch where you can pick your own strawberries. They're not growing any strawberries this season, but we are pretty excited about it because it has great reviews online. Goodness, it's so cute in here. Look how eclectic it is. There's so much stuff. And something I noticed right away is that in addition to the ice cream parlor, right next door is a pizza parlor as well. Super exciting.
just one step out the back door and you're in a whole other world. It's a tropical oasis on your way to the petting zoo. And what turned into possibly the most memorable experience of the day is that just for a couple of dollars you can buy some millet and feed the parakeets. Wow, look at this, he's eating. <laughs> just one though. <laughs> Don't eat it. Don't eat it. What Oh, he's biting my finger! Ow, ow. <laughs> you little meanie? It's like... They're like, <laughs> like, starting to fight over it. <laughs> Feeding these parakeets is so much fun. <laughs> this is trying to eat my shoes! <laughs> Get away! <laughs> He's chasing me. See the baby bonnies? Oh, If you bring your quarters, you can feed the swans. 25 cents dispensary there. Just so heads up for you if you come. Over here you can see where all the strawberry fields are for when they're growing the strawberries and you can come and pick them. Looks like it would be really awesome that there'd be a lot, a lot, a lot of strawberries. At this little activity, you can do some mining. You get some a bag of gemstone mix and then sift it in the water and then you can take your gemstones home with you at the front you can also buy a little rubber ducky and you can race him at the duck races all right so now we're going to check out the pizza and ice cream and give you our honest opinion about what it's like <laughs> so we got two slices of pizza each and you can get two slices in a can of soda for 7.95 so i got the spinach and cheese and a pepperoni and he got the pepperoni and I guess it's chicken bacon ranch but it looks good. It's hot. It hot? <laughs> it's hot. Can you blow it? Baby, what did we get? Pizza. Whoa. Yummy. Hey, the pizza was pretty good so now we're gonna try the ice cream. What's the important part? So many exciting flavors, but I'm pretty boring when it comes to ice cream, so uh -huh. strawberry. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm pretty excited about it. Mmm, that's good. Nice and thick, nice and fresh. 
So we got hot cherry and this chocolate one. It tastes like a brownie. I think Vivian likes it. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida.